Hey guys, welcome back. I just want to do a quick update on my uh, overclocking of uh, Ryzen 1700. Uh, what I found out and uh, what I think is the best overclocking uh, speed for this uh, processor. So I have been doing a lot of testing as you can see. This is my spreadsheet. Uh, I noticed uh, that my uh, uh, that my old uh, overclock setup uh, of uh, 3900 uh, wasn't really that stable as I uh, first uh, thought. Uh, once I run the test of Intel burn test, uh, about uh, uh, I think 15 minutes uh, after the uh, during the test. Uh, my, my PC would uh, basically halt and uh, uh, reboot so I was thinking oh my god this is not possible uh, Prime 95 uh, passed so why is it failing at uh, at the uh, Intel burn test uh, it was it was uh, crazy so what I decided was uh, I'm just gonna go a step back I'm just gonna go to uh, 3850 megahertz and I'm gonna start up from there so I did I decided to do the same as, uh, as I did last time I run the I changed the memory clock speed to 2133 uh, the default what the motherboard uh, uh, boots uh, boots from uh, I changed the clock speed to 3850 and I started with the voltage of 1.3 uh, as usual, as usual, I would uh, fire up my uh, hardware monitor uh, tool to to look at the voltages, uh, the temperature, and uh, how much uh, power does it drain. Uh, so I did all of that, and uh, I then decided to run Intel burn test, and it passed uh, not one time, but two times, three times. Uh, there were no problems at all. Uh, after that, I did a Prime 95. As you can see, it's still uh, it's still running, no problems whatsoever. Uh, let's see, mm, what else? What else? Also, what I noticed is uh, the difference between between 3850 and uh, 3900 is is huge. Like if if you just wanna uh, just look at that number. This is my spreadsheet. So as you can see, I started at uh, 1.3 volts, 3850. I run the test; it passed. This is uh, let me show you. Uh, this is my memory speed. Uh, this is my temperature, minimal and maximal at this uh, at this speed and this voltage. Uh, minimal uh, watts power drain and average power drain you have you can forget this this is not so important it's uh, it, it was a stupid idea to even put this here uh, and last this is this is important the max volt voltage uh, the maximal uh, how much power it uh, it drains of course the pass pass time bench uh, this is not important this is uh, i thought it was a problem uh, so i wrote down freezes at certain times but that's very normal if you if you run a test like Intel burn test it doesn't matter what kind of PC you have if you have a godly PC it's just gonna run uh, sluggish you know uh, so that was normal I wasn't used to that I never used this uh, program before so I didn't know about that so I wrote it down but it's not important I can remove this okay so next i was i was really surprised hey this is this is uh, uh 3850 1.3 volt and it's and it's fucking stable so i'm thinking to myself what the fuck how is this possible uh i am i am running mine uh, uh mine uh, 1700 at uh, 3900 and m much higher voltage it was 1.4 even at, at 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 certain times and it was still not stable so i was thinking how is this possible this is just 50 megahertz uh, uh, it's crazy uh, so I was thinking okay I'm just gonna go back to BIOS I'm gonna leave this um, uh, speed at uh, 3850 and I'm gonna even lower the voltage and I'm gonna try that uh, I, I was definitely not expecting that uh, that it would pass as you can see but it, it, it's crazy 
just just look at this. So the memory is still the same. Uh, the clock frequency is 3850 and my voltage is 1.285 and everything passed everything passed interbird test passed a prime mark pass like everything and uh, the uh, as you can see here the temperature is even lower 86 uh, 88 maximal was on 1.3 volts uh, what else oh yeah if you look at the 3900 the voltage uh, yeah, the voltage 1.33, uh, the temperature goes up, up to 96 degree, it's uh, Celsius, yeah, and it's crazy, average 32, this is not important, uh, okay, this is, no, this is, uh, this is supposed to be the minimum, wait, one second, let me correct this, okay, yeah, this is it, so minimal was 32, but yeah, this is, uh, this is not so important. Uh, the maximal is uh, important as you can see at uh, 3 3900 and uh, 1.32 33 it's like uh, 117.8 watt maximum i couldn't uh, i couldn't uh, see other values because the pc froze of course it failed uh, at those tests so to be honest uh, my conclusion for uh, for ryzen 1700 the best is uh, 3850 uh, in case you are doing any any uh, prolonged uh, uh, CPU intensive work like rendering or uh, uh, I don't know maybe 3D you don't want to take the chance uh, uh, that your system fail if you if you're going to do that then you better go to a lower frequency I mean 50 megahertz lower it's it's nothing you won't even notice it and it uses much less power and it's stable so so you you are fucking 100 percent sure when you come back home uh your pc is still gonna be running and uh, if you go really really high i mean the the, the chances uh, are big that that you will come home and uh, see that your pc just froze uh so yeah that, that's uh, just what i want to share and uh, uh i think uh, it's uh, it's very very nice to have uh uh, higher uh, higher CPU speeds, uh, 3900 is uh, is good. I think I can even go to 4 gigahertz. In case uh, where I'm just going to be gaming, and I don't really care about uh, like 101 percent stability, I will probably go and make a profile for 3900 or even maybe 4 gigahertz. And whenever I want to do like uh, some serious work. Uh, and leave my PC on for, for a prolonged uh, prolonged time, I'm just gonna go back to this 3850 1.285 and that's about it and uh, I have peace in my, on my mind like uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be stable and it's gonna be safe yeah that's what I wanted to say and uh, well I hope uh, everybody everybody uh, sees this and uh, and think about it if you have tips uh, just post it down down below thanks